Welcome to the Ancient Cookware Channel. In this episode, we will show you how the beautiful Filipino clay pot, known as polyox, are made. For that, we have to take you to the countryside, far from the big city of Manila. There, we introduce you to our artisans and the beautiful polyox they make. The tedious process begins with the preparation of the clay. The clay is brought to them from the local river as dry chunks. There, they slowly coax the clay back to life by adding water. They know exactly just how much water to add. Too little, and the clay is too brittle and not malleable. Too much, and it becomes too watery and won't hold its shape. The process continues with the kneading of the clay until it fully absorbs all the water and becomes soft enough to mold. To mold the clay, the artisans uses a manual potter's wheel. They rotate the wheel while pinching the clay to form the sides of the pot. After forming the walls of the pot, she smooths it using her hands and a wet piece of leather. The shaping of the bottom and outside is the most interesting process of all. The artisans uses a wooden paddle and continuously hits the pot to give the pot the familiar shape of the polyoc. The artisans then make the tops of the pots, pinching the knob in the center. The top is further smoothed by hitting it with a wooden paddle. After the pots have dried and hardened, the artisans coats the outside of the pots and lid with a watery clay. This slurry hardens in the sun, after which the artisans rub the entire pot and lid with a small glass bottle, a process known as burnishing. The burnishing process is a very labor-intensive process and results in polishing the clay pot with a beautiful sheen without the use of glazes. In the final steps, the pots are fired in an open fire without the use of a kiln. The pots are stacked on and covered with bamboo sticks. On top of the bamboo, they place palm fronds and use dried straw as kindling. This is one of the oldest pottery firing methods known. Once the pots have been fired sufficiently and reached the correct temperature, the artisans begin to smother out the flames with rice husks.
The dried rice husks and smothered wood begin to smoke profusely, which penetrates the clay and gives it its beautiful black color. Slowly, the artisans begin to fish the pots and tops out of the fire and sets them aside. To ensure that the pots did not crack during the firing process, the artisans tap each pot and listen for the distinctive bell-like ringing sound of an undamaged pot separating any that have cracked. And that is how the clay pots we sell from the Philippines are made. <laughs>